apparently it's spring here. break for Man, many people, but spring break for me is in three weeks. I hate spring break, honey. Yeah, my, my spring break starts, um... My spring break starts... It's weird. Don't catch you slipping up. I wonder why. Oh my, yeah, my spring break is super weird. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck! Oh, excuse me. Oh, it's like. Break one off. I'm sorting through uh, 214 sound effects right now, so I'm trying to find the right one. You will have to fend off yourself. No. Get. It usually goes around uh, two hours. Right? No, really? Well, For the long end, yeah. uh, the last one was four hours. hours. The last one that came out was four hours. Okay, the appraiser was a really long one. Yeah, the this one was very long. And I have been, I've been absent for most of them currently, so uh, my memory might be bugged. I'll stay as long as I can. I think I need a new chip on my brain. I got you. Oh wait. Oh. I found some. It's just rotten. Ah, a new, a new stick of RAM. Damn it. Uh, oh yes. Or wait. Slap. I heard someone. I'm so dumb. Yeah. Uh, I'll just leave it here. I'll have someone else do that. This is my job. I'm a butler. <laughs> My job as butler is not to pick up trains, it's to, it's to assist people. 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 It's like when I was doing eeny meeny miny moe, tiger tiger. God, she killed me with that one. <laughs> she was sitting like... Oh, we were playing Persona. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh nice! I don't know. Um, <laughs> you can shove that. You can shove that sword up my ass later, okay? I don't know what you're into, but I don't want any part of it. The construction guy. Okay, I'll play you. Oh my god. Thank you very much. Apologies for the delays, friends. Oh well. We are charters having some technical difficulties. There are approximately 40,445 people playing right now. Damn. And this is twice what it normally is, so these difficulties, I'm afraid, will be ongoing tonight. Your patience is greatly appreciated. Ooh. Now. All good. In a moment, we will begin. The world creator isn't here, but he should be joining us tonight. I'll oh. point him out when he s tries to sneak in. But before we do start, my friends, a few small tidbits of information. Please listen carefully. Pressing escape or your VR menu button will bring up two menus. Please do so now, and direct your attention to the upper menu. Click on Skybox Settings. Then turn off the day-night cycle, and ensure it is set to morning. 
Does anybody need help with these actions? Will it indicate if it's selected, or I just have to no. trust that when I click it, it'll Clicking set? Clicking it is just sufficient. Click it. Okay. We will continue to use this feature throughout the tour. All other settings are fine. If you get lost and you know where the group is, feel free to use the fast travel map as a shortcut. Well, uh, well, all ready. Let's begin. Here we are at last. Finally back at Krista. After a long, long train ride, the lecturer is finally back at the academy he had been teaching for for 30 years. You see, he was removed from the academy for reasons, yes, and is now finally allowed to return. It is a most glorious day indeed. The lecturer could barely sit still the whole train ride. It was like being a child again. The train pulls up to the all too familiar station and the lecturer steps out and stretches. Ah, oh, everything looks exactly the same. What a relief. Let's go now and speak with the train station employee. Please follow me. Do not click on her. Okay. Simply look. Don't touch. <laughs> okay. Do not click on the strange station employee, friends. Oh my god. There's an strange echo strange. in here. <laughs> the station employee recognizes the lecturer as well as she ought to. And she greets him with a warm smile checks his identification and hands over the keys the principal left here ready for his arrival ah oh, that little metal jingle brings back so many fond memories but now is not the time for nostalgia my friends we will step out into town for the lecturer has shopping to do. Click the door handle hither to open it and walk through. Gather here, friends, before me. Oh, no. Who is the reason why I'm not dead? There are chairs everywhere. Um, <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> what? Um, chairs <laughs> everywhere. Within the void. Ah! Down. Pulling some absolutely incredible drifts uh, on the second menu and set or turn off the day night cycle and set it to morning. I don't think we yeah. usually go over those anymore. You may want my shit exited it and went to the door and got back on. I see. Wait, is everyone in the void? Or is it like no? No. no. Nah. All right. If you're in the void, oh. the beautiful world. Uh, Whoa. Oh, well, we should probably you are in some a trees. Vehicle, you won't be able to see anything. You'll have to walk through the door properly, I'm afraid. Oh dear. Oh. Don't be lazy, use your legs. Walk, walk, walk. So, are you two friends? Dan's and, uh, Silver? Yeah, yeah. we're in a I think we should probably tell everybody about the morning and night stuff. I don't we think... Have gone over that. <laughs> oh, I don't... I didn't... Did we? Well, apparently people weren't listening. 
I, I um, didn't hear that. So. That's my pro that's my problem. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, right? Okay. Your voice mod is off. Uh, is it? There it's is Sheen. One has some like a drink of oil. Oh, yes, that's weird. He, he's by the door. Good. Oh. Oh. My <laughs> friends, <laughs> your attention, please. Your attention, friends. Listen carefully. I have for you a quest, a mission to complete. Every lecturer needs a good pair of brown gloves and a map in case he gets lost and one of those shiny green beetles in that that shop back there and some orange flowers because I say so. This is your shopping list friends in the town you can find all these items you cannot pick them up simply locate them. Please do not leave the town through the arches to your left and to your right. And please do not pass the tour guides who will be forming an impassable barrier on the other side of the park. Your ten minutes to shop begins now. Why do you need brown gloves? You don't have hands. Uh, I, know. I know where we can find some gloves, but uh, what else yes. do we need? Flowers. flowers. That would be the, there's, there's a flower shop, right? <laughs> you see, uh, also, the gardening shop is in the blue. I'm a veteran. And I am a god. Hello, humble flower. What do you say? Uh, these are just kind of yellow. Oh, those are orange, I, th I think. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why they I've been stepping in the flowers. How rude of me. What do they smell like? Oh. oh. Box, fine, fine, what do you need, Box? What are you doing? Yeah, hey, where can I talk to the NPC again? Hey, He's right there. He's right there, dude. Uh, what do you say? You want to hear it? Ask him. He's on me. Hello. Um, hello. My name is Poon. Orange flowers. Well, a shiny green beetle, and a map. In the end of all, in the end, everything will die. Nothing can escape it. And all things will decay. Nothing, yeah, nothing can escape the death of the universe, and everything returns to nothing. Everything can escape. Smart, right? Vibrant. All I could hear was, I couldn't hear anything else. All I could hear was you sniffing something in my ear. Don't worry about it. Dance, just a floating dancing square. Is that, is, is, that is great. I have a question. The only thing that you need to know, Black Maras, is that the squares dance for you. It is a lovely day for G, I suppose. Ah, no, that dance. Yes. It's a great. Has anyone found a green beetle? Bro. Oh, I know where it is. The beetle's over here. Oh, there we go. Oh, I got some here before. Oh, 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 we're gonna go to start looking at the hex code for it. Yeah, I'm gonna get my way back. Lovely gentlemen sitting down for a cup of tea. Oh, you savages. Would you like to join us for some tea? This is a gentleman's club after all. Yes. Hello, MasterCard. Would you like to join us for some tea? Oh, no. Hello, Master Zoyman's. No new problem. Would you like to join us for some tea, Master Pack? Please call me Pack, sir. I didn't hear that. You don't need to be so funny. Hello, Master Otto. Would you like to join us for some tea? Hello, Master Kerbic. Would you like to join us for some tea? Hello, Master Altunus. Would you like to join us for some tea? Yes, it's a bit of a tea party. Yes. Well, hello, Master Lucian. Would you like to join us for some tea? My wrist. Oh, thank you. Oh.
The other things? Oh, finally, I can move some fingers. Oh, I've got itch my eye. I have my eye. Oh, oh, oh uh, I should have oh. mentioned that they have claws. Oh, my eye. Oh, um, here, I'm just gonna give you some uh, potions to sort of spawn that wound of yours. Here we go. Oh, it burns. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh, hold on, hold on. And now I only have one eye to see. I what? Not really, that sounds like it. Okay, I'll just take those claws out. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give you extra human hands, but my these ones are very good. Oh, human hands. That was a good voice. Where? Oh, only once. That time. Thank you for your attention. Track your time too. Do you all have the required items? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Very well. No I guess I do. <laughs> today. Let's continue yes. the story. This is Shelly Forth. Big the townspeople recognize the lecturer as he goes about from shop to shop. He is greeted with hellos and welcome backs and how do you do's and my, what fine brown gloves you have. Oh, and it is all most magnificent. Friends, please open your menu back up. And under Skybox settings, change the time of day to daytime. Day one of three has now commenced. Please follow me. Oh wait, I'm not where to go. Mm -hmm. Hooked on a feeling. <laughs> that avatar that's making the noise every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> 
very loud. Like noise. I don't hear a noise. Yeah, I don't hear I have either. not heard noise. People are taking pictures every now and then. The I'm noise is now my voice, friends. Let's continue the story. The lecturer approaches the academy and takes a deep breath. The keys lightly jingling in his grip as he goes to unlock the door. This is it. Teaching by day and continuing his secret research project by night. Oh, things simply could not be going any better for the lecturer. Oh, wait. The door is already unlocked. Of course it is. So he heads inside and to his first class. My friends, would you all like to join me for a fun and exciting lesson in history? Yes, sir! Uh, I'm afraid of English. I've never heard of an enthusiastic group. <laughs> Ride this way, friends, but don't <laughs> run indoors or I'll... Indeed. Yes, you me. Remember, walking is only permitted if you're a sprinter. Oh, Can't you break your legs? Yeah. Got my pencils. I'm walking here, yes. Don't worry, the whole monitor will fuck us up if we stop running. No speed walking. Uh, that. Mm, I can't believe we survived that one. Only power wire. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right. so yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, you're on mic. You're on mic. You're here. I was actually surprised I managed to live through that turret shot in the chest. Yeah, we're going to the anime protagonist. Hey, what's going on? Oh, it's you. 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 I am in the maybe. <laughs> yes, enemy. Mm. You gotta look out the window. I will stand. <sighs> my fat ass, my big, juicy ass doesn't oh, notice I hear, I suppose. Yeah, mm. quite. That sounds plenty. Gotta be. Yes, quite dabbing. I do it. You do it. conjecture. What? Yeah, let's move up the team down. Yo, Lenny's oh oh man, if we're in the back of the classroom, we can eat. No, 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 Lenny's switch is just... What the hell is this? It's fine, though. Holy shit. Oh, no. Maybe I was, like, in the wall or something, because I'm like... What's here? What is that? Whoa, hey. Hey, is that the dark? Where's the excuse me at? Yeah, there it is. Yes, sir. Get him, get him. Yeah, that's not dark shade. Is that something worse or something yeah, better? Someone bullied you, they put you in the locker. I think it ended up being Oh no, I was just like a. If you're in the locker, oh. I'm in the locker. What are we oh. learning today, oh. sir? Please call me. One moment, please. I need to. I didn't have a silly, and I saw it pierced. Make sure I have my You know what I'm saying? Max, uh, this old, this old guy over here. Just a new teacher. We've never seen him before. Day one. Good job. Good job, my class. They made sure everyone was here. Actually, hard to look. They'll hire anyone at this place. Yeah, I'll get my glasses. Let's go. Oh. Oh, yeah. Now, I know the cliche is about the quiet kid in the back of the class, but can you please put down the firearm? My friends, here they are, the students. Look, look at their bright eyes, ready to learn. 
Look at how they sit and wait patiently. It's time to begin day one's history lesson. The lecturer spends his time going over the history of the town of Trista. Two hundred years ago, Trista was a small town with a nearby quarry. They were digging initially for ore, but soon came across strange ancient ruins that had sunk deep below the surface. This caught the interest of certain authorities and the quarry was declared an archaeological site. Excavation ensued and continued for decades. But one day a fierce storm brought landslides and floods and the entire site was buried deep beneath layers of mud and earth. The authorities lost interest in the project and those who remained here decided to build a schoolhouse. And this... Oh, that would be the bell. Class has ended. Thank fucking God. <laughs> One bell <laughs> remains behind as the class files out. Once they are alone, she says there was supposed to be an eleventh student. But, being the delinquent he is, he skipped class hoping the lecturer wouldn't notice after being gone so long. The lecturer thanks her for informing him of this delinquency, but now we have a small dilemma on our hands. His absence must be accounted for, and the lecturer is not one for excessive formalities. He is sure he can find the delinquent. The lecturer looks at the man standing in the corner of the room. He's not supposed to be here. Wait, what? Hello? And uh, the lecturer realizes he has to head to the docks. My friends, please change the time of day to evening. And follow oh. me. Yeah, this seems wrong. Uh, oh. This is not like a It's like loading a game save. Soup, 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 soup. Hey, soup. I use gun. Oh no, you can't shoot me. I I'm too fast. He's pretty smart, pretty fast and small, and he's a can of. Saturday to let you know which tour it is and what time. It's usually at the same time. Get back here, can I will shoot you. Soup. You can't run far enough. Don't worry, it's gonna return home to the child that. I will catch. And I am close. Oh shit! Oh, 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 o
Where's the bug spray at? The same. I'm scared. This is this is an I got This is definitely definitely. It's convenient though. We don't have to tell him go to the docks. Yeah. Good to be able Nice skills. Friends, the story continues. Ah, standing here on the docks is the delinquent in question. He's standing right there on the small wooden platform, looking rather tense. The way he's casting and reeling, the way he's shifting on the spot. Something is clearly bothering him. The lecturer descends the steps. <coughs> he clears his throat and asks why he didn't show up to class today. The delinquent's reply is that he doesn't want to talk right now. The lecturer doesn't know how or why, but he has a feeling like deja vu. He has the knowledge he needs. I know what's going on, says the lecturer, and he explains his hypothesis. That the delinquent made some bets involving fishing with some upper-class students, and he lost. Now he's stolen lures and is trying to practice so he can gamble back the money. The delinquent falls silent. The water bubbles past gently. And the string of the line is pulled taut, but the delinquent ignores it. His eyes are closed. The lecturer offers a solution. It's happening again. He suggests that the delinquent join the fishing club. He will receive money for joining, which may be enough to pay back the upper-class students, and if he keeps practicing, he could win further prize money in the club competition. The delinquent is clearly hesitant. His gaze is fixed upon the water's ever-changing surface. Crickets buzz in the grass nearby, filling the evening air with a drone. Fine, says the delinquent. I'll join your stupid fishing club. Now leave me alone. The lecturer obliges, feeling confused, but accomplished. Friends, please change the time of day to night. Now, do we have Lucian and Muffin? Uh, uh, yes, he's here. He's right here. Right here. Uh, he's here. Come 
Heather. Friends, friends, the entire group, everybody. Ensure you have the avatars of Lucian and Muffy fully enabled, shaders and all. It is essential for the next section of this tale. I'll give you a moment to do so in case you haven't already. You two, go ahead and prepare. The rest of you, now that night has fallen, this is the perfect time to get some items needed for his research project. The lecturer needs a hammer and a chisel, and he needs to get it from the art room in the main building. Please follow me. Yes, now, he's a bit of a hunting party now. Quiet. Just proceed quietly. Quiet. Yeah. I am the antithesis of very quiet. Oh, nice. oh. How ironic. I'm sorry, I must chat soup. Soup, 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 soup. Soup, soup, soup. soup. Now I really want to drive through and we all die. Or, 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 or. Hmm, that's something in there. Something dangerous. I have protection and weaponry. Don't look at me, I'm just a guy with wearing a suit. <sighs> Safari outfit here. What? Don't let my sight intimidate you. I'm actually very sensitive. My friends, I have for you a quest, a mission of great consequence. Listen carefully. The rules are as follows. Your goal, your destination, is in the main building behind me, the room that says the art room above the door. But, on your way through, you must avoid the meddlesome, pesky, irksome, vexatious Academy security personnel. Stay out of the cone of their flashlights. Do not be too loud or get close to them. And use side doors to help you hide. You are not permitted to teleport during this section. That's right, my friends, this is a stealth section. And there are consequences. If you are caught, Security will address you by name, or as a group collectively, and escort you back here to the beginning. Once they leave you alone by the entrance, you may continue your attempts, but do try not to get caught. I will be waiting for you in the art room. Are there any questions? Uh, no. It seems like a resounding no. Don't get caught. I got that. <laughs> Basically. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> the obligatory stealth segment. Very well. <laughs> My friends. <laughs> They're waiting for you, and I will be too. You may begin.
I've never been first before. Hey, what are you doing? Right? You, you, mm. hey, you, come with me. Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, God. My oh, not my problem. I made it. What? <laughs> She's a pro. Oh. She's a pro. Oh. Let me get my arm. 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 Let me She's smoking it. She's smoking the wood. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> what if you breathe in the purple smoke? <laughs> you get smoke. <laughs> Did oh, <laughs> you get high? Extra hard. high from top of the tree, Jim. I can't see the other ones. I would try. It would have been me. You are. I saw And I turned off their avatar for some reason or the other one. I can't remember. Holy shit, it's in the way. I'm switching there. But I could. I, I had to guess. I hate so. I made it, but apparently just barely, because the threat behind me were in front of me. I couldn't talk. But enough two people behind me got caught, so. Jesus! Oh, God! I don't know if they call my name or not. I got scared. Going to the roof is a bad idea. It's a horrible idea. Yeah, it is. I because have, you have to I time have how far, how long it takes them. Yeah, I have, uh, I'm on the extra hard difficulty because one of their avatars won't be shown for me for some reason or another. I can't show their avatar, so I nearly got caught at the end. I watched a group get caught though. Uh, so. Wait! Was it the three at the door? Oh, it's more than one! Oh, Where it's more than one person got caught. Hmm. If the yeah, if it's a group size larger than, yep. If it's a group size larger than thirty, we can only allow one person to get caught throughout all the nights combined. There is no choice. Wait, hang on. Your free will is snatched from there? you. I'm soup though. <sighs> oh yeah. By the way, here's gun. Oh no. Oh, but I wanna, I wanna go through my Dragon Quest sound effects. Stand still. Just don't be painless. No. And blood will go everywhere. No. God, stand still. still. No. Oh, where am I going? I damn it, you stupid can. Hey, Ruby. How about you aim better? I'm thinking small head. The very small guy. You know why? He's got huge anime eyes. Give way for the doorway. I need to search through these sound effect files. You can shoot. Oh yes, I turned on the feature where it will show you the boundaries of your playable play space. Hello, there, small child. So every time I move my hand, I got it related to my model. Uh, I can see the edge of my play space if I'm reaching you. over the edge of it. Oh, God, I wish I lost my hmm. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> yes. Have a fun time patrolling? Who is firing off a weapon? <laughs> Yeah, I should probably move into my sister's room. My sister's old room. Yeah, I read it. Yeah, I'll do it after my dad. 
finishes his um, this is tomato thing. thing. Look at this one. I can't feel yeah. the yeah. This this is is classic move. Chariot. That's quite a flat My friend, oh, you your are a dangerous change. Over the talking tesseract. <laughs> no breathing. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Christ. And then... You buy the books. Flip that. Oh, sorry. It appears we're all here. So, Lucian and Muffy, how many did you catch? Name them. I ranged my holy hell fire on two, maybe three people. The, uh, the third one was kind of skinny, they slipped through a door, and uh, man, uh, maybe I'm here uh, seeing things, but uh, I told them to get themselves out of here. Well, I don't know what he's talking about. I didn't see anyone. I heard a little bit of noise, but uh, I think it was just the air conditioning. It's been acting up lately. It must have been the wind. I see. <laughs> two <laughs> two <laughs> people. It must have been the wind. They're not as smart as me. I love that song. Hello. 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 Friends, please. Now that we're here. What did we come here for? Uh, hey, Chisel. Chisel. Oh, yes. uh, if you're if you're oh, finished. No. These will do just nicely. Yoink and yoink. I'll pop nice those. yoink. Double yoink. 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 Is teaching art here tomorrow anyway. Nobody's going to notice they're missing. And besides, he's merely borrowing them. The lecturer was about to start heading to his old office, but he remembers that he was given a room in the inn, at least until they sought out his new space. Well, it's been a long day, and the lecturer is greatly looking forward to lying on a soft and comfortable mattress, being whisked away by pleasant dreams. Let's go get some rest. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't in the holes. Checking our sex. No jumping off the balcony. It's time to I jump. Yeah, to yeah, yeah don't jump off the balcony. Shit doesn't load if you do. Don't jump. I'll break it when you own. <laughs> Where, where are you? I saw you both right. jump. Oh, my kid Naughty. has been, been dead. Has been oh, dented. No. Ooh. My can is so dented. <laughs> Whatever shall I do? The can, the Open can the can. The company is closed right now. I can shoot you again. Open the can. This feels really weird because I'm on my knees in real life. So this feels... <laughs> I'm just a can of soup. On their knees, just hovering. Alright. I guess so. <laughs> Alright, all the guys will be in one bed, all the girls will be in another. What about our non-binary friend here? It's a non-binary. Nice. Like non-binary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's horny? Oh, no. Oh, no. Who's horny? Somebody's been posting horny in Maine. Somebody. I don't think I've ever heard anybody say the word horny so much in five seconds. Then we can break that record. Everybody. My friends, we're all here. I would like a volunteer, ideally somebody new who can talk. You, 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 you. Oh, you. Please 
sit in this here chair, if you don't mind. And for the rest of the class uh, group, please to summarize what Hello. happened today. What seems important? What do we have to remember? Shopping. If you're talking, we can't hear you. Uh, I think he said shopping. No pressure. Beatles. Thank you. And something more. Brown cup. There's a couple hammer and some food. Four. Four. Is it? Thank you. Yes, yeah, and, and then what happened? I'm sorry? Would you like me to go instead? Would you like a replacement? Very well. Thank you, Altenus, for starting off the summary. Toasty, after the shopping, please continue. Okay. M mind if I start from the beginning, actually? If you insist. <laughs> All right, so the lecturer has arrived back in town after being uh, suspended from his duties for an unknown reason. Uh, no despite this, uh, it seems he has no ill will or poor reputation with the town folks. They seem to be friendly and cordial with him. Uh, he does some light shopping, getting new gloves and whatnot, and... Um, also mentioned that he um, uh, and goes to the school and we he mentioned something about having some sort of secret research project that he is working on working on presumably something the college wouldn't approve of uh, we teach a lesson on the history of the town which uh, apparently has some ancient ruins <coughs> some ancient ruins that we're going to be dug up and studied, but then there was some mudslide malarkey, and everyone just kind of gave up on that. Uh, uh, I guess at that point they didn't think there'd be anything worth finding. Then uh, we receive a tip from a student that there has been a, uh, a, a ne'er do well has been skipping class. So we go to talk to him, and, and mm -hmm. in the process of asking him what he's been skipping class, we have mysteriously received in information we should not have known about what he's been up to and why he's been skipping class. Uh, and now we, we, we signed that kid up for... or we, we convinced him to sign up for fishing club. And then we went back to the school to steal a chisel and hammer. Sorry. Borrow. Borrow a hammer and chisel, uh, presumably for our uh, after-school activities. And um, oops, sorry, got out of the chair. And now we are at this inn, which has been uh, provided for us until our uh, living quarters have been sorted out. Uh, I is that everything? see, I see, I see. Very good. One small question. Yes. The, uh, the beetle. Please describe it. It's, uh... I, I didn't actually see it myself, to be honest. Shiny I green! You what would you even say? It was shiny and green. Yes. It was green and shiny. For shame! I know, I know, I'm a fraud. I, I lied. I didn't, I didn't see the beetle. I'm sorry. Toasty and Altenus, thank you very much. A round of applause for these brave volunteers, friends. Okay, I know that, that wasn't really bowing, but I'm, I'm bowing IRL, I swear. 90 out of 100 on the pad. But the story <laughs> continues. It doesn't end here. Student, yeah. No, far from it. 
My friends, please change the time of day to daytime. Day two of one. three has commenced. And yes, we're skipping morning because no way. the lecturer wakes up to sunlight striking his face through the open window. He is so thin. No, 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 he cannot be late for his second class. The students are counting on him, my friends, without running indoors to the yeah, office. Okay. But the students! It's happening! My perfect attention! How lazy. Ripping sound classroom games hurts. Why must there be so many? So many sound files, so little time. Legitimately over 500 to step through. No running in the halls. This counts as faster flying, not running. He, he didn't say anything about, about flying. He didn't say nothing about flying. Stop, you know. I'm just I'm barely flying, but faster. Hmm, I must not be a what student. If what if a particular student is a bird person? What if I'm a dog? I guess I'm a dog. 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 Teachers. Avian creatures excrete feces and urine in the same go. I do know that, actually. Oh, I wish I could do that. That would be so cool. Oh, my. <laughs> my friends, your attention, please. Enough about bird poo. <laughs> What? <laughs> My friend. <laughs> Here they are. And they're students. Look at their keen eyes, ready to discover. Look how they sit and wait patiently. It's time to begin day two's art lesson. And, look, at the back of the class, the delinquent has decided to show up. The lecturer could not be more proud. He begins the class with today's topic, Panthropomorphism. This is when humans apply human qualities to things that are not human. Take, for example, this statue. Stone is not human, but shaping it in the likeness of humans is anthropomorphism. Similarly, Thinking your house pet experiences complex emotions such as shame or pride is anthropomorphism. Silver blooded. Did you know? Huh? Attributing high eventual quality to the weather or environment is anthropomorphism. The weather doesn't care what we do, it can't. I Box gold. Combining human and animal characteristics to create hybrids is also anthropomorphism. Evolution, <laughs> uh. for example. Cementing paste. A child playing with their toys, giving them personalities and characteristics. This, too, is anthropomorphism. 
and Maxenon the gods what of the gods do the gods experience emotion are they so burdened as we on this mortal plane do they hear our prayers and feel pity do they feel contempt perhaps indifference do they even feel or are they like forces of nature a cold eternal ripple of cause and effect in the ethereal realm the astral plane influencing our lives down here from afar no no the answer is no the gods are selfish the gods are cruel the gods are all powerful and we must fear them we must do as they command us to do or they will come down and punish i'm sorry i got I got a little carried away there. I think this lesson is ended. That was the bell. But nice. one student remains behind as the class files out. Once they are alone, the lecturer approaches her and asks what's wrong. She looks up, her face filled with sadness, and she says that she feels, she feels invisible. The lecturer asks what she means, and she explains that her parents seem to be ignoring her recently. She can't stand to be at home, so she's staying with a friend, another girl in the Class 7 dormitory, in room 303. The lecturer thanks her for confiding in him, and says he may try and speak with her parents. She leaves. My friends, we have another small dilemma on our hands. The lecturer simply cannot let his students go through such things unnecessarily. The lecturer... looks at the man standing in the corner of the room he he's not supposed to be here the lecturer suddenly realizes he has to go to the class 7 dormitory it's happening again. My friends, please change the time of day to evening. And he was follow me this way. Well, it's here. Sure, he's taken from us. My recap is more convenient. He wasn't mentioned in the other version. Don't jump off the balcony or I'll jump you. He may use my revolver. Jump off the balcony or you'll end up in the void. My dude, you landed softly. Your kneecaps fucked up. Alrighty, that is enough of doing that voice.
Creatures, the class seven dormitory building. Ah, it looks as grand as it ever did, inside and out. On the third floor, he locates room 303 and knocks politely. A girl answers. The student who came to him earlier. She looks a little thicker than earlier, but she wears an expression <laughs> somehow so expected. <laughs> 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 oh. The lecturer doesn't know how or why, but like deja vu, like watching a puzzle fall, thousands of pieces scattered, but landing all in the exact right position. He sees everything laid out. I know what's going on, says the lecturer. He explains his hypothesis. The student's mother has fallen pregnant. But both her and the father are acutely aware of something in their family that means the baby might not make it. In an attempt to spare their daughter the loss they will feel if it comes to the worst case scenario, they have opted not to tell her and instead made her feel isolated, alone. What your parents need, suggests the lecturer, is your love and support, so that whatever happens, you can get through it all together as a family. The student is stunned, motionless. She is crying. The words are scarcely more than a whisper, but the lecturer catches them. I might be a big sister. She breaks into a smile and thanks him so very much for telling her promising she will do as he advises. Then she closes the door, likely sharing bittersweet news with her good friend. The lecturer is a little confused, but feels overall very accomplished. My friends, please change 
the time of day to night. Another excursion of stealth. Lucian and Muffy. Uh, where is... Where's the muffin man? Where is that art? <laughs> The muffin man. Where is the muffin man? The muffin man. Muffin man. We may be Where out of the muffin man. The muffin man. He does not appear to be here. Did we run out of muffins? <laughs> one moment. I believe so. The muffin man. The muffin man. The muffin man. The The muffin man. 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 The no, no, he is here. That's not a muffin. <laughs> Where is he? He is in the instant. That you're fine with me. If Circuit doesn't show up, I, I would like to make it known that I'm feeling very evil tonight. <laughs> we already have a backup in place. Oh. Right. Geobot oh will never see the light. I mean, thank you for your <laughs> As before, friends, it is imperative that you have the avatars of Muffy and Lucian both fully shown, or you will not be able to see their flashlights to avoid. Well, you two, go now and prepare. I think we know why the uh, professor was on the hiatus, or whatever the word is. Now that oh, yeah. night has fallen, this is the perfect time to get some items he needs for his research. He would like to obtain some particular medicine which means he needs to get it from the infirmary in the main academy building I think you know what this means please follow me all right looks like the infirmary is on the room just for me don't tell me <laughs> If you're ahead of me, you're running. Just like a Tesla car. The firmware updates. say as such above the door, but you must make every effort to avoid the nosy, intrusive, snooping, scandal-mongering academy security personnel. Stay out of their lights. Do not be too loud or get too close to them, and use side doors to help you hide. You may not teleport during this section. 
If you are caught, security will address you by name or as a group and escort you back here to the front door. Once they leave you alone, you may continue your attempts, but do try not to get caught. Also, don't become complacent. The shifts may change from night to night. I will wait for you in the infirmary. Are there any questions? Which wing is the infirmary in? Uh, I, I will look it up on the map. It's uh, it right in the entrance. Okay, infirmary right above the door. Uh, okay. Look at the door, right black. Right the main entrance. Big <laughs> shift in the first room on the right, this way. Oh, oh dear. My friend, Forgiveness. they're ready for you. Unless the map is wrong. Go, go, go. Don't get caught. Onwards. Victory! Victory! <laughs> Alright. Being short is difficult. I'm a puppy here. Oh my god, we're late. He's just playing right in front of the door. Soup. Soup, soup, soup. Mmm. Ooh, soup. No. Where's the soup? Ah, there's the soup. I'm sitting here. Soup. Oh, still. I'm not. I'm Watch. Stop here. Be careful. Don't walk into the light. Switching bullocks. Okay, well. You like to talk about your feelings? I'm a never ending superstar. No problem. Go. Don't go. I'm sorry, you can't see though. It's not that my legs are broken, I've been stricken with a rare disease. Do you want to know what it is? I died Ligma. I don't know who was it. What's Ligma? What's a disease? I believe it was... It's a horrible... It's a... I have cancer, actually. And immediately after, there's a gunshot. Okay. Totally. That's me, you are! Oh, You're just sorry, kidding. Your boy's cured. So What's up, dog? Pain. <laughs> What's up, dog? I heard, I heard one of the guards say, What's up, dog? Hey, you. <laughs> Nobody heard that. I, I was just practicing in case I caught somebody. You don't get to. Well, frankly, I'm asking my wife. Oh, yes. Oh, I was worried I was going to have a pregnancy. I heard the CD. Remember their name? I heard the CD. Hey, Ruby. I didn't mean to ask you. Hey, Ruby. I'm still alive. Doing stuff. Are you, like, signing? How are you? Wait, am I still using my voice changer? Stuff. I'm just pantomiming. I'm Alright, cool. Yes, I'm very so serious, Master Wishes. Like, is that pretty cool? Well, that's okay. New judgment? I sound like I ride you like a kind of... 
I don't sound like this at all. Well, uh, I thought without a voice changer. Well, this thing, my voice changer works, you know, right? My voice changer's on, right? Yeah, Bruce, are you? Okay. I mean, of course, of course, it's my normal voice. Sure. I remember reading a Reddit thread about things that uh, 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 Europeans didn't realize about Americans uh, before coming here. And one of them is you. that. Uh, the stereotypical <laughs> surfer dude accent is a real thing. I didn't know that about American. Oh, uh, so uh, 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 I don't count the time that well. No. Might have been eons, it might have been minutes. Uh, uh, I'm is that if somebody says okay that sounds like a prank i don't believe you also you have to give up the ghost like people you saw through it it was a prank dragons then like you guys are just like all this is on the line this is what you want to kill him you want to kill people you look they're they're not dragon they're wyvern but they're like of the same species you want to kill this this kind dude he's been nothing but nice why are you so mean? That, that's no, funny. Monkey, you, 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 you get away from him. Okay, I'm running. You have to get away from him. You're very efficient. Give up on trying to like. I don't know why your name is jittering though. I don't think I want Fantastic. Okay, I'm coming. My friends, your Hello. attention, please. Our battle's not done yet. Now, security personnel, Lucian and Moffy, who did you catch? Well, I got me one goodie boy, but uh, I, I don't see him around. That's it. A uh, booty boy? And you? <laughs> I caught some booty boy <laughs> monster by the, the name the of boy? Wishes. That's a thing. A scooty monster. <laughs> How awful. So, you caught two collectively, <laughs> is that right? <laughs> Things that way. Alright. Well, friends, why are we here again? For some special medicine. Get some drugs. Special medicine. Yeah. We need to get some shrimps. We need to get the good stuff, as yes, they say. Yes, this will do just nicely. <laughs> the doctor has so much. He won't really? notice one bottle missing, will he? No, the answer is no. Of course not. The lecturer needs it more than the doctor ever will. <laughs> he thinks again of the big old bed he used to have here, but remembers again that he was given that room in the inn. It's been another long day. The lecturer is greatly looking forward to lying on a soft and comfortable mattress, being whisked away by pleasant dreams. Let's all go and get some rest. This way, friends. No running doors. Going to see no we're, we're not even supposed to be here. No running the halls, please. <laughs> Go I know that I just speed running.
What Hello, the? Fred. Somebody got shot. Everyone say hi to Fred. Hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. What's up? Oh, 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 he knew the university had skimped out on him on his room. The whole universe is in the deep He's floorboards and noisy. My friends, your attention, please. As before, I would like a volunteer. Ideally, somebody new and different who can speak. I can speak. Wishes. Or should I say. Evil. Come here. Evil. 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 Well, I thought that we were pretty lucky that we didn't get caught. True that. True. Making into the right yes. What else happened? Yeah. Like we kept well, the event from the start of the day. And that too. What was today's lesson? Well, today's lesson was about, um, sticking together. About what? About sticking together and, you know, um, it was pretty, it was pretty intense, nice. <laughs> it was, so. Oh. I see. Very well. I hope she didn't. I hope she didn't like when they had the risk of her newborn baby about the risk of losing it, and um, you know. Oh yes, I believe we all share the same sentiments there. Very well. Does this conclude your summary, wishes, trademark? Well. <laughs> 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 oh, Thank you Continues. very much for that. You're welcome. Friends. <laughs> Friends, your attention, please. Change the time, if you would, to daytime. Oh, no, not again. Somebody ask the question, why are we skipping to daytime? Well, I'm glad you asked. Day three of three has now commenced, and the lecturer once more wakes up with a start. Sunlight strikes his face through the parted curtains. No, not again. He cannot be late for his third class. The students, they're counting on him. My friends, to the music room, quickly, but without running indoors, follow me. Tomatoes and bullets. No running in the halls at all, ladies and gentlemen. I hear you, Papa. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh no! Oh, 
Shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 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 in my mind the words of the words of Abel of Lahan village yes ah but I think I think you're asking where is Lahan village who is this man you will not spot it on any map, and you will not read about him in any history book, for I did not learn this from any text. 
the time he existed is too far in the past, long forgotten. I was told of him and of Lahan by something I met. Should be careful not to say too much, but students heed my words. The gods are real. There are beings out there with power you cannot even imagine. You cannot hope to defy them. Ah. Well, actually, I apologize. I did not mean to frighten you. Oh, that was the bell. Today's class ends here. However, one pupil remains behind as the class files out. Once they are alone, the lecturer approaches him and asks, What's wrong? He sighs heavily, his gaze low, shoulders slumped forward. The young pupil, he says, he wanted to surprise his big brother when he returns home tomorrow with a book called The Pilgrim's Path. But it is suddenly gone from the bookshop. Before the lecturer can even ask anything, the pupil shoots up out of his chair and says he must go home at once. We cannot be outside when his curfew comes. And just like that, he is gone. The lecturer watches the pupil leave. He doesn't even get to ask anything. My friends, we have another small dilemma on our hands. The lecturer simply cannot let his students bear such heavy burdens. He wants to try to locate the pilgrim's path. The lecturer looks. At the man standing in the corner of the room. He he he's not supposed to be here. The lecturer realizes he has to go to the train station. My friends, please change the time of day to evening. And follow me. Walking in the halls, walking in the halls. Yeah. The shortcut is so good, why don't they make a long cut? Well, they have Schneider cut. cut. <laughs> we'll have to make a half cut then. Why 
Hello. Maybe can I get tickets? What a, what a, what a lady. What a name. Uh, hey, um, is most of your body supposed to be missing? Otter? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Oh, God. That's pretty it's hot. Demon. What happened to Buffy there? Wow. You can't fool us anymore. We have seen your true form. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what the heck happened to Buffy? God, that's creepy looking. <laughs> hey, I see how you're sitting with your legs hanging My off friends, the story, like, story continues. I mean, like, do that. The late hero looks about the open interior of the train station, momentarily overwhelmed by the vastness of the space and the echoing noises. He wipes his nose clean of the smoky odor and makes his way to the station employee at the counter. It is the same young woman who first greeted him three days ago. The lecturer doesn't know how or why, but in his mind everything falls into place like clockwork. The lecturer says he has a rather unconventional question for her and inquires about the man who lives behind the general store. She politely explains that she cannot reveal the travel information of customers and asks if there's anything else she can help him with. The lecturer says Actually, yes, and asks if any books have been left in the train station lately. She thinks for a moment and tells him that somebody did leave a book here earlier today. She goes to the lost property box and asks him for its title. The Pilgrim's Path, he says. So, she hands it over to him, assuming he owns the book, and tells him to enjoy the rest of his night. The lecturer thanks her very much for her time. As he turns to leave, he sees someone familiar. Over in the corner, sitting on his own, is the young pupil from today's class. What is he doing here? The lecturer wonders. Perhaps he is hopeful that his brother will return home early? Oh, perhaps he is wondering how to tell his brother about the present he was not able to obtain for him. The lecturer holds the book in both hands and approaches the pupil, who looks up at him. The lecturer offers the book, saying nothing. The pupil stares in disbelief. He reads the cover and asks if it's for him. The lecturer simply nods. The pupil takes it and looks at it, turns it over. He's fighting back tears. Thank you, says the pupil. Thank you, thank you so much. 
he jumps to his feet and says he is going to go somewhere quiet to read the book in one night so he and his brother can talk about it tomorrow. And he runs out of the train station. The lecturer is a bit confused, but feels rather accomplished. Friends, please change the time of day to night. Now that night has fallen, it is the perfect opportunity <coughs> to get the final item needed for his research. He needs an ether crystal. He had one when he lectured here before, but they confiscated it. The engineering building is probably making use of it. Friends, please open your menus once more. Go to World Object Settings and turn on Enable Global Object Toggles. That's World Object Settings and Enable Global Object Toggles. Does anybody require assistance? Very well. Also, Pimon Nick Pop 1, 2, 3. I saw you come in. Friends, this is the world creator. If you Where have complaints oh. or complaints about this world, please direct them to him. Good job on the world, I love it. Hey, I love it, but I have well, one question for you. Good job, dude. You're walking, okay. for places you walk, you, you like this friend school, request. why is that a teleport? Friends, we are going now God, to the engineering building. God, because the game does it like that, that's why I did the thingy thing. Please, so it's for accuracy follow in me. The source material. Okay. The lecturer stops at the door. He remembers something. He remembers why he waited three days. Yes. Yes, here comes the moment he has been waiting for. He checks of the time and watches the horizon and right on cue a red object rises up into the night 
sky, the moon, the blood moon, my friends, turn and look about the back of the academy, it's here, it's time, yes, now everything can go ahead, now is the time to act. He must get that ether crystal. Ah, but look here at this sturdy padlock. If only he had a hammer and a chisel with which he could... Oh, he already does. One tap, two taps. And the padlock falls to the ground with a clang. Everybody, please follow me inside. Area clear. Now we can add breaking and entering to the list of crimes. Bravo 6, killing dirt. Was just trespassing before. Started. We haven't even started on the crimes yet. Let's see that. They call me Krenz Johnson. Bob. We aren't the bad guys. <laughs> no, but we're not very oh, good right. either. I see it. That's the PS2 on the back <laughs> <laughs> it would be. They are clearly trying to figure out what to do with his ether crystal. He's sure they don't even know how to use the thing. He sneers as he takes his crystal back. And as he touches it, He feels something. He looks over his shoulder. in his hands, he can finally finish his research. My friends, kindly follow me back outside. Alright, this is where we... That document was submitted. We get to con <laughs> so, you're gonna make me hungry. Upon leaving the engineering building, there stands the delinquent. He's stepping out a cigarette and asks what the lecturer was doing in the engineering shed. After all the lecturer has done for him, he feels comfortable sharing. So, he says, he is going to try and finish his special research project. 
and just as he had hoped, the delinquent asks if he can help. The lecturer smiles from ear to ear and happily accepts the assistance. He explains that he needs the keys to the old schoolhouse, which are normally kept near the groundskeeper's shed on the academy field. The delinquent, of course, knows just what he is talking about. So the pair head across the grounds, an unlikely duo. I didn't get to see this part before. It took me this long to realize I was on the wrong bike. This is all new! I'm so excited! I'm not working faster than you. I'm gonna see the bad ending for the first time, you guys. Well, hopefully we'll get the good ending. Better. How's the baseball field? Oh, we got sports. Thank you. Sound like it did. Oh, here he comes. Look, look up. Oh. He's coming. Wendy Buster is so... <laughs> oh. Oh. Hello there. Wendy Buster is so... Wendy Buster is so... I'll be back with the other one. Oh, it's going. Right, so I... The lecturer and the delinquent come to the groundskeeper's shed. Somebody exits the building. It's the groundskeeper's daughter, the student. She looks rather surprised to see them both as she carries a heavy box outside. The delinquent offers to help her, and she explains that she spoke with her parents and is helping them out more. And in return, they are, of course, supporting her. The lecturer is most happy to hear this. And then she asks what they're both doing out here at night. The lecturer explains that he needs the keys to the old schoolhouse so that he can get back to his old research project. She gives him a curious look, but trusts him, and hands him the keys from inside the shed, but only if she accompanies them. The lecturer was hoping for this, and is more than happy to accept her company. And so the three of them head to the old schoolhouse. From Prince Harmon. What was inside the box important? There he is. Alright, CB, you got it. Here, here, just follow. Boing, boing, boing. 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 Boing, boing,
The true ending approaches. Oh, scared me. Spoon to Ooh, is this the staff building? Interesting place to kill some ghosts here. <laughs> My specialty. Prepared for anything. Wait a minute, I don't have the one item for it. Okay. My friends, gather round and listen carefully before the story continues. The old schoolhouse stands like an old slate fortress in an overgrown forest. It's dark solemn walls complement the gloom of night and fragments of windows reflect glimmering stars the lecturer approaches tentatively dark birds take off from an alcove the lecturer's heart races. He's finally back here. He can finally finish what he started all those years ago. He can... Wait. Who is that? Over there. Could it be? Why, yes. It's the pupil, sitting under a tree, reading a book using a small light. The pupil looks up at the same time, and comes over to the group. He asks what they're all doing here, and the lecturer says he is going to finish his old research project from thirty years ago and would be happy to have some company. The pupil looks at the delinquent. He looks at the student. He looks at the lecturer. And he agrees to join them. Please do not enter just yet. The lecturer climbs up the steps, approaches the door with the key at the ready. He inserts it. He turns it until it clicks, and he slowly pushes the door open until it doesn't move any more. It's... it's only open a little. Something is jammed. He tries to reach in to fill the other side, but the pupil speaks up. He can easily fit through the gap he offers, and before anybody can say otherwise, he squeezes through into the darkness. A few moments pass, and he clears the way from the other side, and the old wooden doors slowly swing inward. Inside, please, friends. Hmm. I'm still waiting for global objects to be a thing. Nobody has been here for some time. Likely thirty years. The lecturer closes the door behind them 
and the sounds of the night slowly fade. Only the sullen silence of this spacious interior greets them. Well, says the lecturer, let's get moving, shall we? Right this way, through these doors over here. world. There's a truck down there. <laughs> oh, oh, you what? Oh, Stargate, you fit perfectly oh. right here. Do watch your step. Oh dear. Which portal are we going to? Which dimension? Hmm. Oh. Oh, 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 oh are in awe of the peculiar chamber. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. They proceed carefully, their footfalls slowly shuffling across the dusty floor. Every little noise echoed and thrown back at them. The lecturer steps onto the elevator platform in the middle and approaches the control on the far side. As he fuses the ether crystal to activate the elevator, he explains there was a poison leak on the seventh floor, and that he has prepared antidotal medicine so that none of them would be affected. The delinquent the student and the pupil all accept and take some of the medicine each. The lecturer pretends to have some medicine. One hmm. by one, the three students fall unconscious. Mm. The elevator grinds with movement. Friends on the control panel, please click the button at the bottom that says seventh floor. Oh, there is a portal. Stargate. Oh, wow, what a fast now we return. Oh. <laughs> Herbal elevator. That's a bullet. Ah, uh, yes. As if you bring an elevator, I guess you don't put it on it. My alarm system are blaring. <laughs> 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 no, no, here, right now. The soup is now in the soup. I don't know where I'm, 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 I do not know how to put it. Soup in the soup. Soup or man. Is it dry? I'm not wet though. Shit. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, I hope I'm gonna have enough power. I might shit down down here. Oh, perfect. See, I feel fine. We might all die. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's. Has anyone done this tour before? Yes. Yes, but, but I haven't gotten this far. I mean, yeah, no, I just wanted to ask one person, like, how much more time is left in this tour? Just, like, yeah. like, like, 30 minutes, maybe? Less? 20, 30? Uh, uh, how long have we been here so far? Uh, well, let's see. If we started around 9.30, that puts us about... 2 hours and 13 minutes. 2 and a half. Two and a half. All right, yeah, then I can wait another half hour, I guess. Pull it in. I don't think it's supposed to open. Oh, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try posting because I'm actually recording this. So I'm gonna post, post this on YouTube. Alright, really. I can't pull it try. open. Man, darn. Cool. I think I might have killed myself if I actually did that, so maybe it was a good thing I didn't open it. Hmm. <laughs> 
an omnic dark hallway. Where'd my homie go? Oh, there he is. In That's my a other robot I was traveling with. Right. Do. I when I say lesser, I'm referring, of course, to the homie. You have to not, global not object toggles on. As a right. person. Uh, I see. Probably. In the oh. object setting. Mm -mm. Sneak attack. Oh, Kirby. <laughs> yes. We haven't been this far, right? Oops. Forgot to rename no, when I rejoined. I, have, I you been on the <laughs> have you been on the painter? Like, the whatever? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Just wondering. I didn't get anything. Click, click. Who are you? Very weird <laughs> avatar <laughs> preview. <laughs> Do not harm the child. Hooray! Do not harm the child. My friend. The story continues. Everything. Everything is in order. The portal has opened as anticipated. And the deep chamber buzzes with mysterious energy. The hairs on the back of his neck stand up. But the portal is not ready yet. No. There are other steps that must be taken first. One by one, he begins to drag the three youths to the next room. My friends, please open your menu. Go to sound settings. And toward the bottom, change it to uncertain circumstances. Uncertain circumstances oh, yeah. and sound you, settings. You can scroll with the bar on the right. Oh There's no, we can just scroll already. Can you scroll all the way down in the middle? We want to save the ball. It's like five or six from the bottom. Uh, I see. Yeah, I see. Prepare for battle. I'm sorry. Like six from the bottom. I stand ready. Yeah, I knew I didn't trust my friend. It comes. It comes. It comes. Trail of tears. My friends, trail the cold this way. I won't. I won't just stand there. That's your sword of change too. Here we go. To battle. Too motherfucker. A goal. Sessions can change color, that's awesome. My god, it's a level oh, 9, level uh, 82. What's your I'm swords level? <laughs> Got a melee class and a range class. Yeah, we can take this on. Well, At the far the end of the room, yeah, oh no. kneeling like a bronze statue, is a mech. A relic of a distant civilization. A monument to technologies he cannot begin to fathom. With the three unconscious youths beside him, the lecturer stares up at it. Everything is in place. He waits. And he waits. 
and he waits, and under his breath he begs for something to happen. Because he did all this work, he waited all this time, and he didn't ever tell a single soul, and he can't bear to... Wait. There. A glimmer in the eyes. A flash of blue. The same blue of the portal. Is it working? Is it time? As he stares into the glowing blue eyes, the lecturer sees flashes of his past. He can see the first time he was allowed to explore the old school house built on top of the sunken archaeological site. He can see him and his assistant figuring out the elevator. He can see the, the, the portal opening unexpectedly. And he can see, oh, he can see it and he can hear it. Its sudden voice. Its eerie, soothing voice. It greeted them. It offered them both knowledge. It promised ancient technology, the secrets of the universe, the functions of reality. It only asked for one thing. A pilot. The lecturer falls to his knees in disbelief. After thirty years, he's finally back here. As the eyes gently glow, the lecturer speaks. I have returned as promised. And, uh, and in response, my voice fills the room like electric darkness. Feebly. I have, he says. I have returned, and I... I hope you remember the deal we had. My memory is not distorted by time. I have waited long for this moment, for you to be here. It was not easy, but I managed to find three replacements. The lecturer gestures to the delinquent, the student, and the pupil, lying unconscious on the ground beside him. So, you wish to replace your assistant, your own son, with another? So be it. I am listening. The lecturer stares at the bronze machine. His son, his child, is right there behind layers of cold steel. He tries, he tries to picture him. What might he look like after all these years? Has he aged? Is he conscious? Is he listening? 
Does he still have hope like he lost? A shiver runs through the old man's body. He takes a deep breath. The lecturer thinks long and hard about the decision. He looks at his hands. What is he doing? He looks at the three students lying nearby that he manipulated into coming down here. Was he really willing to sacrifice them for his own son? No. He shakes his head. No. He knows what he must do. He must exchange places with his son. He steps up to the bronze machine. And, and that he has made the wrong choice, a most terrible decision. Something, something is awakening him within him, and the bronze machine is about to consume him. 
But that, that something, that something changes, adjusts, manipulates ever so slightly the probability state of this reality. And he wakes up. The delinquent wakes up. You see, being skeptical by nature, he only had a little bit of the medicine. He sits up and looks around. Where is he? What is this place, and what is that awful noise? He can see two other students beside him. He shakes them awake, and the three of them look to see the lecturer with his head wreathed in strange shadows, slowly moving towards some sort of bronze statue. And he remembers. The student, the student suggests that this is the archaeological site and the ancient ruin, deep within what was once Trista's quarry and the pupil looks up and surveys the area. This is bad, he says. We have to do something. My friends, open your music menu again. And halfway down, play the glint of cold steel. My friends, please listen carefully. In this room is a bronze mech with the hatch open. One set of cables leading to it from an unknown device. And two. Two of the blue braziers have lit up with electric energy, seemingly charging attacks. The lecturer has shadows around his legs and around his head, pulling him toward the bronze mech. He is only four steps away. I need all of you to separate into three groups. The people who represent the delinquent stand here. The people who represent the student stand here. And the people who represent the pupil. Go in, go in the middle. Stand hither. Uh, can we elect to just uh, leave and let the lecturer die? No, no. Uh, well, no. we had to save what? him. He helped us. Yeah. My friend, please. He also drugged us. Sacrificed and dragged our ass down here. That's a guaranteed bad ending, though. That's a guaranteed bad ending. So now, we have to stay here. Because the mech will kill us. So we have to kill the mech. And you could end it's just daily life, man. With a few well coordinated moves. However, if you fail, everybody could die here tonight. Delinquent, you have a lighter, a pocket knife, and a fishing lure. <laughs> Student, you have a hand from Okie dokie. What's the delinquent girl? Come here. Alright, so he drugged me and dragged me down into this uh building presumably to die, but he didn't recommend I join a fishing club, so uh, I guess I still owe him. We we gotta help him then. We gotta repay the favor. Okay. So what we've tried before at least. Yeah. There's 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 one thing we know that works, and that so is the knife on the thought. The oh, delay the crop. Student is using the shovel. We have to use the knife to delay the grappling yeah. because the grappling hook is they like have a flash flash condition because it just grabs the uh, Look, the grappling, uh, uh, the grappling rope is, no is metallic in nature. If we can get the brazier down before, if we can get the brazier down before, we knock over the brazier that's about to attack though. If we were all to work together on that. Because we can knock it That's over true. on the we control could... panel, which will disable the grappling two, hook so entirely. There are two. Don't we have cables we need to cut There are two. But we, we can save the, either the, the knife shadow. or the okay, shovel. Wait, 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 wait. What is a brazier? 
Are you see these things? I'm gonna have this as a brazier. Sick. Um, okay, honestly, thanks. The weird tower if, things are brazier. Even if we focus on a brazier, it's not gonna stop the other one from attacking, so if we can delay one attack... Right. Well, no, no, no. The thing is, only one up. attack at a time. Only one at attacks at a time. Do we know that? Do we know that? Because yeah. last time we never... The we last never, time never it only attacked... Attack. There are two attacks. There are two attacks, but only one at a time. I don't think it's I think we have to hmm. use the shovel somehow. I never Maybe said that. I'm getting cold. Uh, I trust you guys have got a plan. I'm not really keeping up. Well, one of the things is, after two turns, a grappling hook comes up, and I think we're just screwed no matter what at that point. And we can get an extra turn-ish if we work with the pupil to delay him for one turn. Delinquent. Your time is up. What is your action this round? Uh, do we have a plan? Uh, stab the, uh, stab one of the cables with the pocket knife. Yes. As you say. Use the knife! Knife! I mean, I can't think of anything on we could light on fire or, or how a fishing lure would help, but it's gotta help, right? Well, the, um, oh no, we may have just messed the up. We didn't coordinate. With the light. Hmm. I don't know if they're gonna use it the just appears with light and fire, so yeah, yeah we're, our lighter exactly. could make the thing go away. The first turn, only one brazier lighted up. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Could we have communicated throughout this event with the other teams? Yes. Yeah. We can yeah. communicate oh. with the other teams, yes. Oh, okay. And I believe we may have just screwed ourselves by not doing said thing. Because I believe uh, now both the knife and the shovel are out. Mm -hmm. And at some point the shadows become physical. Oh, attention, attention. <laughs> Which only the lighter shield is. Outcomes are as follows. The delinquent takes out his knife and runs, seeing cables leading to some strange machine. He jumps in it and slams his knife down, dragging it across. It is hot, it's so very hot. The knife blade melts as he cuts through it, but he severs one cable. The pocket knife is destroyed, a brazier is extinguished. The student follows suit. She takes out her hand shovel, brandishing it like a weapon, and she follows the boy, running up and slamming it into the cable. She hacks at it until it is severed, but the hand shovel melts in the process. It is so very, very hot. The second brazier that was charging is extinguished. Two braziers remain. The pupil takes the flashlight, runs up to the old man, and shines it in his face. What? Why? What? I don't know. It'll be bright though. The shadows around his head. Melt away. The lecturer's face is there, but his expression is blank. His mind is elsewhere. My friends, round two begins. The lecturer is three steps from the bronze mech. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, we like need to extinguish the light shadow. We 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 need to extinguish the light shadow. Lucian, Lucian, Lucian. If the if the uh, shadows don't like light, we can light the lecturer on fire. Uh, 
but that could that would kill the lecturer. As amazingly okay. fun as that would be, that would kill the lecturer. Uh, completely Are you confident? Negating our goal. Okay. <laughs> what other items do you guys have? What other items do you guys have? Um, we have a fishing lure and a lighter. So we got the lure and the lighter. The lure and the lighter. Okay. What is a fishing lure? Is it metal? Can I use it to short out something? I, well, as far as I know, it's completely useless. Sadly. Okay. Continue. Push over on the I also have some pocket lint. <laughs> Sadly, that's completely useless. Okay. Uh, how do we know the So what are, what what are you okay. guys doing? What's the plan? What's the plan? Shouldn't we push? I know you can't hear. We're gonna have to use a yo-yo. We're oh, thinking to push down a brazier onto the control panel. Yeah. Oh, the brazier on the that takes all three of us. Yeah, that takes all three of us. That's why I'm trying to see what everyone else is doing. That's an old brazier. There's four rounds and we only have three items. I say we all of these take a round to try and push one of the things onto the machinery to at least see if it works. I okay. said it's a good idea, actually. Let's push the, let's push the brand yeah. onto the control panel. Because if we, even if we do that, we <laughs> still have, two, we, we still have two items each left. Hey, it's a better idea than yes, that. Yeah, 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 but again, yeah, what's uh, right. uh, We could use that for the, the next mech. round. Well, the that way, yeah. Yeah. I get the yeah. feeling yeah. the shadows will just push the rocks out of the way. Yeah. 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 Okay. Because we all have to do the first group. We'll have to do the first
The, the first yeah. time we did this, yes, two yo -yo. people together could tie the yo-yo string around the lecturer's leg, which would keep him, which would keep him from moving. Jingling the keys next to the lecturer's ear will wake him up from his trance. So I think we need to have two people do that, and then one person jingle the keys at the lecturer's <laughs> okay. ears. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I agree with the the keys earlier, didn't we? Yes. Yes. people together yes. were enough keys. to hold the dude back, so I think we should stick with that, Dean. The Jimmy Keys reminds him of the ultimate feeling from when he was last here. Well, maybe not here in the spot, but you know what I mean, back in Trista. And then this should jingle the keys. Actually, no, this is the first one. So the lighter getting here. and the so getting here. Really the lighter, I don't think using it got rid yeah. of it and it the like fishing lure. Uh, speaking on behalf of delinquent, of course. And we still have the and we still have the uh, yo-yo from the people's side. Yeah, we yes, have the yo-yo. That is what we're using for this. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what we're using. I said we try to hold okay. them back yeah. some with the yo-yo and then someone jingle the keys. 
see. Yep. Okay. I feel like that's how we should do this. There's a control panel. So, the delinquent will help with the yo yo to make it better. It's not a control panel, it's just a box. And we don't know what it controls. Alright, never mind. <laughs> All right. What is the delinquent doing? Assisting the pupil. <coughs> Assisting the pupil. What is the pupil doing? The pupil is tying the yo-yo string around the legs of a lecturer. With the, the, the fishing lure. Remember? No, uh, you don't need no, the yo-yo. Oh, we don't no. need that? Okay. No fishing lure. No fishing lure. Yo-yo string. Okay. The fishing lure has no strings attached. Pun intended. Uh. <laughs> and what is the student doing? <laughs> Uh, jingling keys in the ears of the lecturer. That's fine, I guess. Hello? My friends. This is life or death. Can you feel <gasps> the pressure building? <laughs> My emotional receivers are hurting. Round four goes as follows. Did somebody speak about what the last student would be doing? The delivery oh, in front of the chest. runs to the pupil. Yeah, yeah. And together they take out his yo-yo and combining the strength of the string and of the delinquent they wrap it around the lecturer's ankles, preventing him from physically walking forward. The control over him is such that the yo-yo snaps. But the lecturer remains one step away still from the open hatch of the bronze mech. The yo-yo is destroyed. The student takes out the keys, runs to the lecturer, and shakes them by his face. That little metal jingle brings back so many fond memories. The lecturer's eyes snap open. What? What's happening? Oh, no, it is real. It's all... It's all, all coming to pass. The lecturer is in the present. He is conscious. But he's being pulled now by a steel grappling hook toward the mech itself. All three students remain conscious. Your inventories are dwindling. You are still one round away from utter failure. What do you do? I think okay, so the only thing we okay, can I, do... The only thing I can think of is knocking a brace. Yeah, yeah. It's time to chime. Yeah. He said they're all and extinguished. The the yes, he said they were charging them, and then when it shot the grappling hook, they extinguished, meaning they had to divert the power to the grappling hook. So. If we knock it on the machinery next to, er, the next to the mech that we assume is connected to the mech, why wouldn't why wouldn't that be controlling the grapple? We could knock that out. Well, didn't we already knock over the brazier? No, no, we knocked. There's like four braziers. There's four of them. Well, yeah. Yeah, but didn't we try to knock over one neck in front of the lecture? So it had to be one. No, we tried that. Which one did we knock over? I believe it was this. I vote here. we knocked over this one. We knocked over this one, so now we're gonna knock don't over this one that's much closer. We're knocking this one down. I'm afraid I'm going to overrule you. You knocked down this one already. Oh. Okay, yeah, we'll start down this one. Okay, well. Well, we're knocking no, this one down. No, that can't reach. <laughs> that cannot reach. Yeah, that's not gonna reach. Looks like it reaches. Stop, 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 stop. You know it can't reach, y'all. He said the same thing each time. The top is top heavy, and the top. The dish that holds it uh, topples forward and could definitely hit this box. Yes, the dish does topple forward. He did say that. A good spot for you. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So we're not really damaging the machinery the enough the to either give us another time or give us another time. I'm telling you, man, the fishing lure is time to shine. I think we should. Uh, I think. I think the everyone's trying to, trying to tell the fish fishing lure, you're no bad. good. You know, you're useless. <laughs> Collectively, but you know what? Another turn. 
He didn't. Yes, but then what, what happens then? We, could, we, we gave it one turn and we've done <laughs> nothing. Fair, but this is the last round. It's just time to think. Yeah. yeah. We're just gonna keep it's basically the last round. Let's just let's, nothing let's, let's do the ultimate. Let's just do the ultimate. Control panel. Yeah. No, we we would have that that if we use the the Can we not just <laughs> topple the control <laughs> panel into the abyss below? What if we just beat the, yeah, what right, just beat the crap out of yeah. the control panel? All of us. You ever tried pushing a machine like that? In real life? <laughs> you won't really mean, This is three percent. Yeah, I know. I know. It's like three percent. Doesn't matter. It seems the group is lacking some important contact. Okay. The lecturer is only one step from the bronze mech. The brassiers will not reach him even if you push them over. Additionally, right. the machine is very clearly bolted to the ground. Okay. Wait. Wait, Pigeon. Are all yeah. the power wires cut? Did we, did we cut all the wires yet? Yeah. Two out of four are cut, but the brassiers have been extinguished. Okay. The power has already been diverted. The exposed wires are essentially non-powered anymore. We have to cut all the wires. That's but, the goal. But are the, is, are the, tra are the brazies are the only thing that's yeah. powering? Do we <laughs> know that for a fact? Powers are yeah. diverted from the braziers to the basically. machine, so whatever power was going okay. through the wires to the braziers so, no longer has power running through them. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We have to that. We have to cut. I, uh, I, have, I just realized yeah. we have to cut. I just realized we have to cut down towards yeah. the yeah. control yeah. panel to hopefully damage it in some uh, way. Okay. No, 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 no. The browser will not reach <laughs> anything. Yeah, he, he, he oh, it didn't even. It didn't even work. Wait, what? Are we going to push a brazier onto one of the cables? No, we can't. The browser will not reach cut. anything. Anything. Yeah, they cannot reach anything. Well, they won't be a job. The okay. braziers are useless. That's fun. Braziers are useless. Two seconds. Two seconds. I have been far too generous. Okay. We need, we need to pull them back. We need to pull them back all together now. That's like the yeah. only yeah. visible yeah. option yeah. then. I'm out of it. I'm going to push them back then. All three of us together should be able to at least delay him. The very yes. one. Going. Mm. Let's all collectively yeah, try to pull the lecturer back or pull him out of the net. Right. We can see if we can. No. What, what's causing that? That just yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Just in your headset. Say, say, say what we're doing. Say what we're doing. We're pulling him back, right? We're trying to help uh, him pull back. Pulling him back. Yes. Yeah. We're pulling him yeah. back. Three. Nine. Uh, one. What are you doing? All three of us collectively. We're going to pull the lecture back as hard as we can. Agreed. Why are you sometimes illuminated red? I think it's supposed oh, to make me run, dude. Yeah. 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 Also, I think My he friends. might be rolling dice in real life. Please separate into your three groups once more. Like, literally, I think he has some dice Delinquent. in real life. Alright. Tell me. Yeah. Why save this, this man who was willing to give you up for someone else? Because the mech is very clearly evil. Let's ditch him. In addition, we've also because got, we've also got a kind of a bit of a debt to repay because he helped us out with our other debts. He believed in us enough Man, to try to give us a chance. Man, everyone always like I'm right. some waste of space. He was the first one who really gave me a chance. That as well. That. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we did show up for classes and such, so. He helped us even though we didn't even need help in the first place. <laughs> With debts to repay, that being one of them. He was willing to watch you die. Why save him? Why? He saved us from a burden of being separated from our own family. I don't like that. He just put it all on us. I'm like, wait a minute, what am I? Why would I? Yeah, the, the main, the main, the main. You should do well to repay your debt. Tomato hat. I hope that the student would. You never know. You may get something out of it. This is not appropriate debt repaying. You repaying a random help uh, against. Uh, an assassination attempt, pretty much. Oh, yeah. This is this is. Well, keep in mind the mech itself is also very clearly evil. You know. 
Yeah. Very maybe. clearly that thing is evil. And as bad as the lecturer was, the mech is very clearly evil. I don't see it as yeah. evil, honestly. I see it as no, a machine so. just going through its programming. Why? It doesn't have concepts of morality, but it's yeah. just like... Yes, but, but, but yes, but if an emotionless dude who doesn't have morals just goes around killing people, you wouldn't say that's good, would you? Like, are you supposed to be like, it doesn't... Like, it thinks you understand what is happening. The lecturer understood. It thinks everyone understands what is happening. It doesn't quite get it, you know? Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, a machine is following its program. Thing. We're trying to save someone's life. The machine isn't gonna stop right. because we ask it to. So, it's yes. we, yeah, as a machine, machine is well evil, that is according to our current point of view. Of a or at least it's our current opponent. Really and and we have to back. Yeah. 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 You know, a restraining order probably isn't all that bad of an idea. Oh, we should still do it. Let's do it. Did you like my little speech about uh, about the lecture? Yes, that, that was, that I think that it may have very well helped. Into the bronze Thank you. We lose yeah. To the end. I need a no, lawyer. My friends. Oh, I think I know you reached this. Your attention, please. Attention. The pupil runs up and grabs hold of the old man. He thinks of the lecturer's generous acts. He didn't ask for help. He didn't ask for anything, and this man helped him anyway, seeking, asking nothing in return. The student joins the pupil, wrapping her arms around the lecturer this old man brought light to the darkness in her life and saved her family from potentially greater grief. She won't let go. And the delinquent joins the other two, taking hold with his mighty strength of the only man to have given him a chance in his whole life. And with their combined strength, all three of the students pull and pull the outcome of this round is that the lecturer is now two steps from the bronze mech. The next <coughs> round begins now. Friends, oh. what are you doing? That is a good idea. Yeah. All three of us. Yeah, yeah. can we yeah. do that? Yeah. 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 Y
is slipping. Oh, keep pushing him. Can we keep pushing? Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Oh, we have to, we have to take it off. All three of us. Let's try not breaking his spine. Let's try not breaking his spine. Let's try not breaking his own 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 spine. Are we, are we pulling or are we untying? So, agreed, agreed on... What are we agreeing on? Just keep pulling, Hold on, let me check him. Did we keep pulling? Did the grappling hook wrap around him or is it like one entire thing that could pull over him? I mean... The grappling hook has coiled around him several times. Yeah, but it's loosening. Yeah, I see. It is indeed an acne. Just spin him. Yeah, so I think we can just keep just spin him. Yeah, yeah. 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 just keep him. Yeah, just keep him. 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 Just keep what if we multitask? What's some of us pulling the other of us untie? Oh, yeah. What is the group doing? It's... Uh, okay. Collect the okay. Pulling. pulling the lecture back. Keep pulling. Keep All right. pulling. I mean, if it worked the first time. Keep pulling. The next round goes as follows. Ideas course through their minds. What if they try to untie it? What if they grab it and pull it that instead. Or if they do something else, but they exchange glances. No. This is it. And they pull. And they pull. <coughs> and the lecturer is three steps from the bronze mech. What are you doing next? Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Okay. Yeah, do we just keep, keep pulling? pulling. Or, mm. also, we just keep pulling. Keep pulling. Just keep pulling. I mean, it's working at us. It's, yeah. like, it's like a game of rock, paper, scissors, what? where you've just been playing rock and the other person's also been playing rock and you're just waiting for one of them to... What if this is okay. misleading and it comes to like the same point where it's pulling far enough and it's like... It's 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 yeah. it's Actually, I don't think this works so far, right? Whenever the lecture was grappled and one round passed, he only got one step closer. So now that we are three steps away, we technically have two rounds in our bag of like you know security, to some extent. So we could spend one to just try to untie it, because yes, uh, that's what I was thinking. Last time we From sent something into the cable, like last time we touched it with a brazier, uh, it shot it into like a different it just bounced wall off. with a shot. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Shall so we just keep going? Electricity. If we touch it, I think the mech's going to just. Just keep pulling. Let's keep pulling. I suppose we're gonna keep pulling. Just keep pulling. He did say it was loosening. Trajan did say that the cable's grip was loosening while we were pulling. Yeah, but that means we keep pulling. Don't even touch it because apparently it's dangerous. Then let's keep pulling. We got far enough away, the cable won't have to, uh, won't have enough reach, anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. It makes sense. Everything has its limit. Let's see what this I'm one is. That's our stamina. That's our stamina also. Don't, don't bring that up. My friends, students. Don't give them any ideas. <laughs> what is your choice? Yes. Keep pulling. 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 That's like Jesus. Never <laughs> give up. Never give up. Uh, Never surrender. I don't remember that story from the Bible, actually. Never give up. Never your surrender. Your fates have been mm. sealed. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's ominous. We're dead. Well, that's either win or lose. It's do or die. It's fine. Let's go. Perhaps not so bad. What? He's rolling the dice, <laughs> trying to figure out if we won or lost. <laughs> you just hear so many dice rolls. <laughs> oh, He's like, hold on, let me Add them up. Work together. Pulling oh. on the lecturer with all their combined might. Their combined hopes 
and dreams. The bronze mech is strong, but not as strong as their bonds. Friendship. Friendship. There's a sudden Who's noise as the cable loses its grip and comes <coughs> loose. All four of them topple away from the bronze mech. No, I will not be stopped by three children and an old man. I will not. The lecturer is helped to his feet by his students, his friends, as he stands <coughs> defiantly against the huge machine. I was ready to exchange myself for my own son. Electra feels the support of those around him. But... I see it now. That feeling you described. This has happened before. And it's not going to happen anymore. This power of yours, machine, your portal is closing. What? Nonsense. I planned everything out. I, I have more than enough time to... Wait. Why? Why is it closing now? No. What did you do? What did you change? You fool! The bronze mech grinds and shifts as it stands <coughs> tall suddenly, scraping the go. ceiling with its steel protrusions. Using the last of its reserves, it lunges forth. Leaping over all of them and rushing to the portal across the hall. The students watch in fear. But the lecturer watches with a smile. For he knows what is going to happen. The bronze mech gets halfway to... Halfway into the portal before it snaps shot. Reality pauses. A visual vacuum, a rippling of the air and an explosion of sound and debris as the back half of the bronze mech explodes. The lecturer captures a glimpse of dark shadow ether being sucked into the last vanishing point of the portal before it closes. They all breathe a sigh of relief, except the lecturer. Oh, we must get out now, he says. And a moment later, everything begins to shudder. The structure trembles. Suddenly, acutely aware of the vast amount of earth overhead, they all rush to the exit elevator. Go to here! Go, 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 go. Well, how do we get here? We got it. Um, right here. Click Corp. this. Click this. Go, go, go! Jesus! Do we all make it out? Do we go? 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 Do the link went for life! Well, we also got the RTL. Yeah, we just got the link for life. You just got the link for life. You just got the link for life. High five, saucy boy. This also could I can't even see my hand. There we go. 
Uh, or, or, or are you tomato chunks? Oh, I just body. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Body pants. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just that that I'm just that commercial with the ravioli can. <laughs> yeah. On the ground. Navigate to your menu. The sound settings, if you will. <coughs> and select oh. whereabouts of feeling. Oh, I saw it. Well, this is a nice one. I don't remember ever turning the music off, but it stopped playing. Mm. Maybe check your world volume? Uh, I mean, it stopped playing at like just the right time, I though. I hope it doesn't change. Mm. It's so dramatic, because I know that's a setting. So I'm wondering if that was like uh, a feature. Is everybody playing the correct yeah. music? Ah, where about <laughs> the feeling? What a nice song. Everyone, please make sure that you have selected this background music. I auto play BGMs on. It might. <laughs> the four of them rush outside. Turning just in time to see the old schoolhouse collapse in on itself. They all take cover from the shockwave of dust. And once the rubble settles, the lecturer stands to inspect the damage. There it all goes. Thirty years of planning. Thirty years of waiting. Thirty years of wanting nothing more but to see his son again. Thirty years of torment. Finally come to a close. His son. The bronze mechs remains, all lost, deep below the earth once more. The blood moon has shifted out of position. The threat is gone. He turns to the students. I... I am so very sorry. I was blind. I wanted my own back. You deserve to die for that. I have done her most monstrous thing. He begins to weep and closes his eyes. I promised I would make things right, but I failed him. I couldn't keep my promise. And he's not here anymore. There comes no reply until he feels a pair of arms embrace him and then another and then another memories of his son drift into his mind their first time meeting him at the orphanage so shy, so precious. His first birthday party, 
nine years old, spent with a family that loves him. All the time the lecturer spent at the hospital comforting his wife. And then, only he and his son comforting one another. his son's first day at the academy. First as a student, and then as an assistant. The lecturer is so scared of letting the memories go. He tries to hold on to them, to maintain them, to control them. But Something changes inside him. The lecturer draws in a deep breath, and as he lets it out, tears come with it, unstoppable. And that is where they stand, sharing in their bittersweet victory. After a long time, the lecturer speaks. I think I am done with teaching, he says. They ask him what he will do instead. Well, says the lecturer, I have always had an interest in archaeology. friends, my good friends, please accept my congratulations on your well-earned victory after six <laughs> months of attempts. You have reached the good ending of the lecture. distance, something takes form. A hint of brown. No, no, it's not brown. As it grows, its brilliance increases twofold, fivefold, tenfold, a hundredfold, and it shines more and more until you see nothing but a golden panel filling your view and upon its surface are great numbers. Mm -hmm. Six, three, friends, thank you so much for your time. We have some announcements, so I will put you back into the loving embrace of our main tour guide, 
Sheen. Can't wait to go back to the hub and use regular controls again. Clutch. It was the clutch ending. It was, it was so pretty clutch. clutch. Quite, quite literally, too. We did it, guys! I thought we were done with the answer to Oh, dearest. Uh, yeah. Good. Wills. Dearest. Friends. Good. Wills. Dearest. Friends. Dearest. Travelers. Dearest acquaintances. Hello. And welcome. Might I ask the smallest of favors? The favor that you must do throughout your whole life. <laughs> Traveling between narratives to your real world to here through your ethernet connection to my <laughs> voice <laughs> and to that <laughs> Of what you have witnessed, I might ask that you put your hands together for the greatest tour guide to have ever lived, the one and only Trajan. <laughs> Dearest friends, dearest friends, <laughs> thank you it? for your support. Trey Jim is a valuable tour guide of VR travelers, and we are a group of friends that create immersive story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and wholesome team effort. We oh, do this for fun. We do this for free. However, we do ask one thing in return. My friends, if you enjoyed Trey Jim's performance today, please join our growing Discord community and post your photos and comments from today's tour. Does it have to be there, you can discuss the alternate endings to our <coughs> tours, the secrets to our headquarters, and other mysteries. The Discord server ID is my status in VR chat. My friends, please add me as a friend and check my status to join the Discord group. Okay. Now then, friends, finally, if you really enjoy the work our team puts into this and want to help us write more stories and create more beautiful worlds I ask you we ask you Trey Jim Brendizo and I to support us on Patreon uh, my yeah. friends our Patreon uh -huh. is only three dollars per month that is less than what you will pay for a game that you devote your time to your hopes to your dreams to your uplifting emotion to that powers you towards everyday <laughs> endeavors. Three dollars per month, friends, will give us the funds needed to purchase assets needed to create more tours. And it will also <clears throat> grant you access to play as NPCs in our tour, such as the campus security guard, the night watch or the other NPCs in our other tours. It will also give you access 
to the secrets that our community has gathered together in our tourist channel. It will also grant you access to the CWT. That is the Community Written Tour. It is a writing project where the community of VR travelers together creates a tour that the tourist will go on themselves from the tour guides. Finally, joining the Patreon will give you access to all of the weird and crazy stuff that we've uploaded there. Well then, friends, in about five minutes, we will open a portal to the after party at the rendezvous. But for now, the floor is yours for questions. Exact time, three hours, 29 minutes. I have one last thing to say uh, here we are. to everybody. As you know, when a tour is cleared on its good ending for the first time, it is after a few more runs, replaced with a new tour. I run the lecture a couple more times to ensure that the good ending is recorded for everybody. And then after that, comes another tale, another story. And those on the Patreon will see it first. Thank you. What? What? Oh. 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 Oh.